whole issue of political prisoners and prisoners of war strikes terror in the beast, in the state, in the empire, and the imperialists. Comrade George Jackson was a common criminal, thief on the street, and was captured at the age of 18 and transformed his criminal mentality over an 11 year period to be a revolutionary, to be a representative of working class people. He eventually became a Black Panther and a prisoner of war as a consequence of the struggle that was going on in the prisons at that particular time and at large. Comrade brother Fred Hampton, another brother who was a Panther, who was also murdered, assassinated, much like Comrade George Jackson, as a response to the seriousness of what they represented. George, excuse me, Fred himself was put in prison um, because they said he stole ice cream and distributed amongst children, $70 worth of ice cream. He was eventually given three years in prison. In fact, he was murdered while he was out on bail. But this is the type of thing we're talking about. Brother Malcolm X was a prisoner, a common criminal, and transformed his mentality while he was a prisoner, and came out of prison a new man, of whom we know today as El Haj Malik El Shabazz, or Malcolm X. The point is that prisoners have the capacity, the ability, like anyone else, to transform themselves and become productive, conscious revolutionaries who, by any means necessary, will struggle to the death like any other person. And this is what the state fears. So, to sum it up and to end it all for this particular segment, we must support our prisoners of war, our political prisoners, and all conscious people who are involved in our movements, in our organizations, in our nations. Otherwise, the beast will step in with a surrogate program and turn people against us. With that, I just want to say, rebuild, free land, free all new African political prisoners and prisoners of war.